वेलकम बैक आई एम फ्रॉम एक्सप्लोरिंग एक्सेल माई सेल्फ अमिया दाभोलकर यू कैन ई मेल मी एट एक्सप्लोरिंग ऑफिस एक्सेल एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम दिस इज वीडियो नंबर फोर्टीन टू चेंज वर्क बुक नेम यूजिंग मैक्रो लेट्स मू ऑन टू अर शीट ओके नाउ दिस इज एन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सेशन अबाउट हाउ टू चेंज अर वर्क बुक नेम यूजिंग मैक्रो फर्स्ट थिंग If you click this button, there is a small type of dialog dialog box. Enter name for workbook to change workbook name by using macro. This is the existing workbook name, and you have to change the workbook name. So if you write something new, suppose example, my new workbook. Okay. You can just see here my new workbook. It has. Changed his name. You don't have to go to the right click and then rename the workbook. This is a good way. So how have I done this? I will show you a code here. One second. Okay. Now this is the code for this. I have inserted this in the sheet one, not in any module. You can also insert this in the module. First, you have to write the name of the sub routine, sub new new book. So. Here down it will be exit sub. So this all is done. The next thing is on error resume next. Now uh, why I have to use this on error resume next? There are many types of on error like on error go to error handler, on on error go to zero, or on error go to error handler. You have to just specify here error handler the uh, uh, error handler equals to. Um, Uh, what, uh, exit sub or end sub like that you have to do so it is like this on a resume next matlab if there is found any error in bit between this it will resume the next code it will resume the next code and so on but will not show an error message like vba 400 error and compile error and all uh, such types of error why i have used this type of thing is because when i click the button and if i think oh i don't want to change the name When I click the cancel, it shows the VBA 400 error uh, because uh, the close button is not programmed, and also how how we can end between because the procedure has started up till here, and the name is zero, so how it will program? So that's why, oops. So that's why uh, I have done like that. On error resume next. There is no end error, but uh, still on error resume next. Now, first thing, first two step I have done is to dimming of the two variable, WBK as workbook. Means I don't have to type the full name like workbook. I have instead I have dimmed WBK as workbook. Uh, dimming is a good procedure. Like uh, you can just dim the variables, uh, and it will perform good actions. Uh, good action dimming the variable is very important, as it saves only that much memory which you want. Then. Again, I have dim another variable. Dim workbook name. I want workbook and workbook name. Uh, means uh, basically, we I have to perform this type of action, but I I need to go on to the these steps. The main output here will be only this small type of formula. Workbook dot save as workbook name. Means workbook save as and workbook name. What is a save as? Then save as. Then uh, it comes a uh, one of the syntax like what is the workbook name. Then after was I defined a dim workbook as workbook. Then I also set workbook as workbook one. If I open two, four, six or any any number of uh, Excel application, then it will got confused at which type of application to close. Means this application to be closed. So this workbook also you can use, but I have just set set work workbook equals to one. Or uh, I have just used it. You can also use set workbook as this uh, workbook that like that you can use. Uh, also means this workbook also you can use this workbook argument then also then i have done workbook name first i have set workbook name equals to workbook dot name then workbook name again i have to change that name means vbk name equals to workbook dot name mean this workbook dot name whatever my new workbook which will be very easy to perform first thing uh, i have done workbook name equals to input box input box mean this this is a input box a prompt and this then what is a prompt enter name for workbook 
and work book name what is a work book name first vbk dot name now again i have said that it equals to new name so now uh, the new name will be saved as this i will repeat this same thing uh, dim workbook name as string then i have set the workbook at the, uh, this workbook dot uh, workbook dot name is whatever name here as it will be shown in the user form then workbook name equals to input box enter the name for the workbook and workbook name but now the workbook name argument is changed to this whatever return in the input box now it will save as okay uh, so uh, let's go to the vba Visual Basics. The short, uh, keyboard shortcut is Alt F11. I will write in a moment Alt plus F11. Whenever I write plus, means we have to press both the things simultaneously. And whenever I write Alt comma, then A comma, then E E. This is express clear. Alt A E E. Alt A. -E. Sorry, uh, something. Sorry, Alt E A A. It is Alt E Alt E A A. This express clear anything like Alt E A A. It will clear with everything with formats. Uh, that will be Alt E A. Whenever I write comma, means you have to press Alt. Then that next key. Then that name. For example, here Alt. Then H, then it will show here. Then V, then again, I, then I place V, then P, like that. Okay, so let's. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the developer and Visual Basics Alt F11. Going to the sheet one. This is my code which I have just shown you. On error resume next. Uh, coding index. Okay. Set workbook as uh, set workbook equals to workbook dot one. Okay. Set workbook equals to workbook no no. Menu I uh, just I'm showing here. Dot save save as. When you open this, all are in the brackets. Means it is an optional argument. What save as file name, file format, password. Write re write pa read password read only recommended and all this. See this is how how many types of this are there. Means all are not compulsory, but if you write all, then it will make your uh pro command more efficient or more well equipped. You can say, but I have just used the file name as W B K N A M E. That's it. Also the input board. I want to show you the argument here. I will just show down. Input box. You can see this type of. I have entered the prompt, and also I have entered the title. What will be the title? I am not under title, but still I have entered list. Uh, this prompt and workbook name. Means prompt will be both of uh, this enter name for workbook and workbook name. Current workbook name. So uh, let's run it. Again, so here mm, my new workbook dot h name. I will write the new name to change workbook name using macro. Okay, it will change the workbook name. One more thing, if I remove this on error resume list, I want to show you that. Okay, switching to VBA. On error resume next time. Removing. Uh, let's see. Now let's run the same code again. And I will close. Use the close. Four hundred error. But unless I use on error resume next. Okay. So I when I use the on error resume next. What happens? See, when I click, nothing happens. Nothing error message is there. So, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to subscribe for more videos. Like this is an expense manager project planner. 
then this is uh, some of the ranges uh, instant chart how to make an instant chart this type and there is also dashboards so please feel free to subscribe and watch more videos on exploring excel thanks for watching have a great day